Welcome to the Low Carb Athlete Podcast, where we focus on discussing topics to help you burn fat, optimize health, and improve performance in life and sports. Transform the whole you from the inside out with the holistic method. Let's dive in. Here's your host, Debbie Potts. Hey guys, it's Debbie Potts, and I'm excited to talk to Dr. Mark Meta today. He is a medical director at the Menno Clinic, the Center for Functional Medicine in Wilson, Wyoming. He has a huge resume, a ton of education, but I'll just touch on a few things. He's been in the healthcare world for 35 years. He has completed medical school at University of Nebraska Medical Center. Then he was in the internal medicine specialist training at Banner Health in Arizona, and he's one of the very few physicians that is board certified as an internal medicine specialist, board certified holistic medicine, and board certified in advanced hormone management and anti-aging medicine. Man, I wish I had his brain. All that knowledge is impressive. So you can read more on the show notes about Dr. Mark, but we're going to talk today about the mitochondria function and the role the mitochondria play in not just your immune system, because that's a hot topic right now I want to educate everyone on, but also fat loss, performance, and longevity. As a lot of you are endurance athletes as myself, and we all probably struggle a little bit with chronic stress and doing too much in the day. And what we can do right now is work on training, but optimizing our health while we're doing that extensive cardio endurance training, racing, all that stuff that is an additional source of stress on your body. So less is more for endurance exercise. You know, ideally we just need 45 minutes of a run or a bike ride. We don't need two, three hours. It's actually increasing our levels of the stress hormone cortisol and adding more oxidative stress on our body. So really working on what you're doing for your health is important part. And I think looking at lifestyle habits and not just taking more supplements. It's easy to say, okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take that. And I kind of get sucked into that and try to figure out what's my area of opportunity. What are the missing supplements I need? But a lot of it is our lifestyle habits. You know, as an FDN practitioner, we talk about the dress protocol, work on your diet, your rest, exercise, stress reduction, and supplementation. Supplementation is just one part of the dress protocol. So we really need to work on the whole you. And as I say in my book, and my manual, you can find on Amazon, the holistic method is eight elements to really transform the whole you. If you want to burn fat, if you want to optimize your health, and if you want to have your peak performance gains, we need to work on nutrition, exercise, but also sleep. Sleep is huge. Part of your recovery, your repair, your liver detoxification, and more. So really work on your sleep. Stress reduction. We talk a lot about external stressors. Environmental stressors are in there. EMF, the toxins in your chemicals in your food, your household products, your facial cleansers, your soaps, and all that are environmental toxins as well as in our food. So those are part of those external stressors as well as financial stress and stress about the COVID and now stress about getting, uh, you know, all these attacks, riots in our towns, you know, stores being blown up and all that's another stress and being on social media is a stress to me. So working on that so essential, but also movement, getting outside first thing in the morning, getting outside at when the sun is above you, getting your mobility drills, doing yoga. I've been doing yin yoga and I signed up with Travis Elliott yoga and we do uh, different yoga videos at home now. So movement and mobility is essential as well as digestion and gut health, huge for your immune system, huge for your total health because most all diseases, chronic diseases begin in your gut. So if you have poor digestion, you eat 
good and crappy food, but if you don't digest food properly, if you are eating in a sympathetic state, you are going to have most likely digestion issues. And that's going to lead to gut dysbiosis, gut imbalances, parasite pathogens, fungal yeast overgrowth, all sorts of things. So dysbiosis is kind of the catch-all phrase for that. We really need to work on that because all other elements of the holistic method are impacted if you have poor digestion and poor gut health. And leaky gut, premillable gut wall lining is huge and 80% of your immune system is in your mucosal barrier. And then of course we've got hydration. I know I've got my coffee and my Keanu Aminos here and my Athletic Greens, but really getting hydration throughout the day is essential to our health as well as getting those good uh, tea, herbal tea, liver detox tea and turmeric. I've been drinking a lot of as well as your water with sea salt and lemon, some apple cider vinegar. And then lastly, I want you to make sure you're taking time out to play, be happy, smile, be silly, let loose a little bit and write in a journal, gratitude journal. What are you thankful for today during this crazy time in our world? So that's the holistic method. And you can find my book, Life is Not a Race, and you'll understand my passion, purpose, and my why if you read my book and understand my background. And then the manual and workbook I wrote as well, and I'm trying to work on updating that for more about the immune system, is also on Amazon called the Holistic, W-H-O-L-E, Holistic Manual and Workbook. So MitoQ is what we're going to talk about today in mitochondria function. And one thing on the MitoQ.com website you can find is, you know, why do our mitochondria decline? For good energy, we need a super antioxidant, they say. CoQ10 is made naturally in the mitochondria to help keep free radicals from causing damage. CoQ10 levels can decline with age, illness, and lifestyle factors. When this happens, your body's cells spend more time fixing free radical damage and have less energy to spend on their real jobs. For example, beating your heart, powering your muscles, or maintaining your eyesight. However, taking CoQ10 doesn't just help fix the problem because not enough of it can get through the tough mitochondria membrane to shift the dial. So that's where mito Q, the supplement comes in because it's a different type of CoQ10 delivery system. And regular Q t- CoQ10 supplements aren't as effective because it can't necessarily get into the cell. So CoQ10 is a vitamin-like substance found in the bodies of all life forms. CoQ10 is found primarily within the mitochondria, the power plants of the cell, where it is a vital part of the energy production process and also acts as free radical neutralizing antioxidant. Natural production of Q CoQ10 can decrease with age, as I said, and especially with our exercise, we're putting more increased free radical damage. And so we're going to have a little more health issues if we don't address the function of our mitochondria and reduce the oxidative stress. So most CoQ10 is not absorbed properly, as I said, because it's a fairly large fat soluble molecule, which needs to be taken with foods containing oil or fat. Only a very small amount of CoQ10 actually makes it inside the mitochondria due to the impermeable membranes. That includes the active form of CoQ10, which is quickly oxidized back into the inactive form of CoQ10 inside the body. Yet, the mitochondria is the very place where you need CoQ10 to target in order for the levels to be supported. So the real breakthrough was discovered in New Zealand by two biochemists in the late 1990s. They realized because the mitochondria have significant negative charge compared to the rest of the cell, attaching to the right positively charged molecule to the CoQ10, they should finally solve the absorption problem. So years of experimenting with different molecules, they found the optimal for- formulation, which is MitoQ. So MitoQ helps get into the cell. So it's a mitochondria targeting of the CoQ10 works in a special way that it's, it 
the dose that you need is reduced to 10 times less than the normal amount of CoQ10 because it can get directly into the mitochondria. Once it neutralizes a free radical, MitoQ is recycled back into its active form, allowing it to perform the task over and over again. So you'll find many benefits of mitochondria health supporting your mitochondria with something as MitoQ, and that's what I want to put the link of the MitoQ. We did a podcast with them last year. But it sustains your body's optimal energy production, supports normal blood pressure, blood sugar, and cholesterol levels, healthy energy production of your muscles, joints, and other connective tissues, helps you stay strong and fit for longer, and recover from physical exercise faster, and potentially reducing the risk of energy, and maintains healthy liver and kidney function, leading to normal metabolic function, Healthy brain and nervous system function are supported, helping to sustain mental clarity and alertness as you age, and also supports a balanced immune system and allergic pathways, which can help normalize the potentially damaging effects of the body's natural responses to both harmful and normal aggressions. So it's really important, I think, as athletes and as we try to strive to improve our immune system to be build more resiliency, we want to reduce... The, oxidative stress from our internal and external sources, which can lead to healthy aging processes. So you can head to mitoq.com. I'll put the links in the show notes to learn more about their research. And really, I think as athletes, we, we do need to take some supplements. And what we'll talk about is, you know, what other Supplements I learned from Dr. Myhill is taking L-carnitine and D-ribose, and I actually bought those in a powder form, and I put a little scoop of each into water with my Keon aminos, and obviously eating head to tail, carnivore will help get a lot of that into your diet. I'm not the type that's going to eat organ meat unless I don't know about it. So, you know, if you can eat liver and enjoy your liver and onions, that'd be great. But I am not. <laughs> I will tell you that now. So I am excited to talk shop with Dr. Mark. He is one fascinating person. I definitely need to have him back on the show. So sorry for talking too long, but let's have Dr. Mark come on now and explain more of his passion, purpose, and why. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Debbie Potts with a new episode of the Low Carb Athlete, focusing on health building tips for you as it's my passion and purpose to help you be a healthy athlete from the inside and out. And to dive into how we can do that, I got connected with Dr. Mark of, well, you're of many roles, but talking about mitochondria health, the MetaQ supplement today, as well as many things. But Thank you for coming on to share your time with us and huge bio we just went over in the intro. You're just a man filled with tons of knowledge in, in all areas that I have always fascinated about learning more about. Well, I'm a lifetime learner and that's the beauty of being in medicine is that uh, there's always more to learn. Yeah, so talk a little bit about what has drive, driven you down this journey to be in all these different areas of health. Well, I'm the fourth doctor in my family. There's three internal medicine specialists, one psychiatrist. And I worked with Dean Ornish in high school, and I saw how lifestyle medicine worked as well, if not better, than traditional medicine. So when you're sick and you need an antibiotic, you're sick and need an antibiotic. But if you're dealing with a chronic illness or chronic stress or other chronic issue, the holistic, integrative, functional approach works much, much better. So I did internal medicine training to get the best of training worked with some uh, amazing mentors and really tried to fill my toolbox with all the tools that all the other doctors have that didn't go to medical school. So I appreciate all of us. And whether you're an MD, a DO, a nurse practitioner, a chiropractor, an exercise physiologist, a personal trainer, we're all on the same team and getting healthy is a team sport. So we need everybody to help each other and work together. And then we have really good outcomes when we do that. Yeah, I definitely believe that. And it's just led me down into journey becoming more of a health coach from being a personal trainer for 25 years because there's so much more to talk about with 
clients, individuals to help them be healthy. So how do you define health? And I know you do some programs on your website. I'll put all the links in the show notes, but athletic performance, optimization, building your immune system. I always like to ask people, especially right now, what is being healthy and what is a health optimizer about? Well, we, you know, being healthy is not just lack of disease. And so it's, it's really what's the best you can be. And whether you're an Olympic athlete or yourself like an Ironman, a CEO, a super mom or dad, a student, a weekend warrior, or just um, want to be the best manager or best employee that you can or best partner or spouse. It's about being the best you can be and, and looking for optimal health. And that's what's wrong with our regular medical system is we have these bell-shaped curves of normal ranges and your doctor just wants you to be somewhere in that range. Well, average in America is diabetic and obese. We don't want to be average. We want to be optimal. Mm -hmm. And I think that resonates, and whether it's performance at a sport or performance in life, being the best you can be really sets you up for lack of disease, lack of illness. And that's where I think true wellness is. And I know we're, we were talking that this year, 2020, is kind of a year of the COVID virus. And I think, you know, it, it's, I hope it, it opens people's eyes up, the importance of taking care of one's health as I've been on a mission last few months of trying to educate people, self-care, become a health optimizer, build your health from inside out and provide them with simple tools that are free to take care of themselves. And I know it looked like on your website, you've been, you know, teaching people, are you healthy? How strong is your immune system? So what kind of tips can we tie into helping us be healthy on the inside out by improving our immune system because of the state of our world and our future. Well, Debbie, you're, you're spot on about your thought process and really uh, there's always opportunity for improvement. And I really think this COVID has had most of us step back and say, what can I do myself? And as I tell my clients, I can't prevent someone from sneezing on you. <laughs> but what I can probably help you do is get to a spot where you don't end up in the hospital or the ICU or on a ventilator. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's about inflammation. And these people who are getting really sick and unfortunately the ones that are passing away, they have chronic illness that's out of control typically when they get sick. And so we think it's inflammation. If your inflammation bar is low, you can tolerate a little bit of increase from the virus. If your inflammation bar is already high, it doesn't take much to throw you into that cytokine storm that they worry about. Mm -hmm. So it's really, you know, sleep is anti-inflammatory. Managing stress is anti-inflammatory. Food is inflammation, and you choose every day with your fork whether you want to be inflamed or not. So it's, yeah. it's really making those basic core choices, and it helps every chronic illness, diabetes, obesity, heart disease. Uh, but as you're an expert in stress, I really think that this whole time is stressful. Life is stressful, uh, but stress can be an enhancing thing or stress can be a punishing thing, and it depends on how you're internalizing it and managing it. So it's a great time to really dig into those lifestyle strategies and, and uh, you get a lot of bang for your buck on those because they're free. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I just was thinking this morning on my run that I just kind of make a little infographic of the year 2020 is a year of chaos, <laughs> confusion, and choices. It's like, they're all C's, you know, it's like, you know, we always have a choice and I feel like you know, we'll talk today about the role of mitochondria function, but a lot of these health practices, we have a choice and it's our responsibility to take ownership of our health. And I keep saying, no one else is going to do it for you. So don't wait for something to happen and get some magic vaccine that, you know, you think that's going to solve everything that we need to take it seriously, that we need to take control of our own health and not depend on someone else wearing a face mask or saying they're not, they're healthy to be around you or just staying home and being isolated and being scared to go back to our regular life, you know, our new normal. But I just feel like what we're doing right now should be choosing to improve our immune system, our health, our gut health and our lifestyle habits. So, you know, we can go from there, but I know we're here to talk about mitochondria. So how does this tie into mitochondria? You know, leading off what you were just sharing, and I love that, and uh, what I would encourage everyone listening is that do it for yourself and drag someone else with you. Yeah. We find, and even if it's your dog, 
Um, yeah. We find that by doing things together and sharing that you get healthier. So exercising alone or doing yoga alone, um, eating alone, they are helpful if you do it the right way, but they're even more powerful when you do it with people that you care about and especially that care about you. So there's something about that support and that's what we're really missing with all this isolation. There's such a lack of uh, communication and support and it really, I think, is something we've got to find a way to add back in. And that really makes the, the other uh, medicine powerful. The, the, the mitochondria, I've been fascinated since eighth grade biology class because I heard they provide energy for your cells. And as an athlete, that's what I wanted the most of. But it's, it's more complicated than that. And your mitochondria are in every cell and they drive every system. And they're exquisitely sensitive to bad things like bad food, processed food as well as toxicity, heavy metals, unclean water, unclean air. So you, the first thing you can really do is, is try to control what you put in your body to help the mitochondria. And again, whether it's performance as an Olympian or triathlete, it's performance as a unique individual. How do you be better? And fall in love with your mitochondria and think about your health from that level and you'll never make a mistake. Yeah. It's funny, I was watching um... Lance Armstrong on ESPN, they're 30 for 30. They have this whole documentary on the Lance Armstrong story. And he's the same age as I am. And it's funny, I look at him going, okay, I bet his mitochondria really damaged from his excessive, you know, training from Tour de France for so many years and just hammering with all those, you know, extra supplements they take to improve performance. But I think a lot of athletes create wear and tear and that oxidative stress. And that's why you know, we talk about performance and longevity. Of course, everyone wants fat loss, but really when I strive to educate clients and listeners that what you're doing right now, is it creating more harm in the future? Do, you know, are, are you training for an Ironman or marathon right now and working on that? But what happens 20 years from now when you want to retire and travel the world, how are you going to be performing? Are you going to be able to climb those stairs? Are you going to be, you know, wrinkled and crippled and have bad hips and knees? You know, interestingly, uh, the only longevity experiment that's ever worked is calorie restriction. Mm -hmm. So they took rhesus monkeys and reduced the amount of food they ate because even when you eat, you generate that wheel of ATP in the mitochondria and generate free radicals. So that's where the whole concept of too much free radicals drives oxidative stress, drives aging process. And I think there's, there's two things to it. The beauty in our, our integrative functional medicine world right now is that we've heard about epigenetics. It's this concept that you're not doomed to be your parents or your grandparents. Mm -hmm. You have the power in your lifestyle choices to turn on good genes and turn off bad genes. So I think you can mitigate a lot of that damage by the nutritional habits you have, by the supplementation you do, by the other lifestyles, sleep, stress management. And so two people that have the same oxidative stress from training for the same events can have two different outcomes. One's somewhat genetically determined, but then their other choices drive those genetic determinants one way or the other. So you can turn them on and turn them off. And that's the empowering message of health today is that you have control over your destiny and of what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I, I do think, you know, making the bad choices in the wrong type of supplements, the wrong type of medications, performance enhancers, and then the wrong type of lifestyle choices really make a big difference. And it's cumulative. It's a one plus one equals 10, mm -hmm. either direction. Yeah, well, that's kind of what we're talking about, the, the word chronic stress, how that is impacted. Because as I've shared many times, what my story was, and in my book I wrote, Life is Not a Race, that we put a lot of stress on our body because we really just need to exercise 45 minutes and do some cardio and do some HIIT training and do some yoga and walking. But instead, you know, you're training for endurance events, you're putting 15, 20 hours of exercise in your body. And if people choose to do that, what are ways that we can, you know, dampen the damage that we're doing to our body? That's a good thing. Well, I, I think it's, it's uh, just living does so-called damage. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's always a, an oxidation of stress. And I, I like to use a story of here in Jackson Hole, a couple years ago, it snowed four feet one day. <laughs> and the first woman came in and said, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful when it snows like this, the trees, I just love it. The very next woman came in and said, 
I hate these snowstorms, I'm gonna slip and fall and break my neck. So the same two external stressors of the snowstorm mm -hmm. had two dramatic different internalizations. And I would say the woman that was happy about the snow had a, a positive oxidation going on or less of a negative one. And the woman who saw it as a negative uh, really probably had more of a bad reaction to it. And I think we all can do that with this, the day-to-day -day things in our life. You know, that's the don't sweat the little stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. But is your glass half full or half empty all the time? I think that's a great place to start. And, you know, the effects of chronic exercise, I live in Jackson Hole where if you didn't climb the Grand Teton twice yesterday, you didn't work out. So <laughs> it's a real highly active, extreme athlete environment. And I do see some older patients that have the damages of the oxidative stress because they didn't manage it well. They had too much alcohol. They didn't eat clean. They had other chronic stressors in their life. So I think it's, it's not one thing, it's all of it working together. And that's the yeah. beautiful mosaic of our health. Yeah, that's what, you know, I t created the holistic method that is not just working on exercise, but there's eight elements that I work on when I'm coaching athletes or individuals. But also when, as an FDM practitioner, we don't just treat one thing, we work on the whole thing because it does, your body just doesn't do work on, you know, like work on your thyroid and that's it. It's, it's working on all the body parts work together like an orchestra and all the players need to be in sync and working at optimal level, right? So how does our mitochondria damage if we're creating stress through exercise and not everyone eats ideally? what and sleeping and you know just our internal stressors we might have but what does the mitochondria why is it so important to look at the function in optimizing our mitochondria well the mitochondria again i'm fascinated by what we have learned and what we now know is that uh, the oxidative stress really is at the core of most chronic diseases and if you're looking to be optimal in anything that you're doing, you've got to manage that oxidation. Mm -hmm. And it's more than just taking vitamin C. The CoQ10 is an antioxidant that, what it does, it lines the inside of the membrane of the mitochondria to provide their defense against this oxidative stress and to help them generate more energy. Essentially, mitochondria take food and make energy for you. And to do that the most efficiently, you need to have that system be, I think of it as WD-40 on your bicycle wheel. You've got to have it spinning at the most efficient. And MitoQ is a much smaller molecule than CoQ10. So it enters the mitochondrial membrane much, much easier, up to a thousand times more efficiently. And what it does is helps to provide that structure for the mitochondria to have that defensive wall. And we're talking about COVID and the immune system. To keep your immune system supported at its optimal level, You've got to have your mitochondria working at the most efficiently. So I look at the things that help to make it more efficient. The right kind of CoQ10, I do think the MitoQ, with its uh, smaller profile, it's got a, a lipid or fat-soluble center core, so it gets absorbed easier, and it helps to spin that wheel just more efficiently. Ribose, carnitine are the other two things I like for athletes, and it helps spin that ATP pathway. And at the end of the day, it's really what negatively are you doing that impacts that the other way? So it's really a protective mechanism. How do you protect yourself? And then you've, you've got to really be cautious not to take too many things. So I do think that most people benefit from some core nutrition, core supplementation. And eating organic is not always possible, but the non-GMO organic is the less toxic food. And the more of that you can do, the better you're feeding those pathways. And then picking the right supplement that has the right pro profile, like MitoQ for the mitochondria to be so efficient, you just spin that wheel a little bit easier. And every system benefits from that downstream. So go back to what you said, that how, how does mitochondria function work in improving our immune system? Can you talk a little bit about that? And then we can talk about how it helps burning fat versus burning carbohydrates. So uh, the immune system, I'm fascinated by it. And I got my master's degree uh, in the 80s. And uh, this was when we didn't really know much about the immune system. And it's exploding in the knowledge. But the way I think of our immune system is that there's three warriors. It's your natural killer cells, your T cells, and the macrophages. Those are the three warriors of your immune system that protect you from bacteria and viruses. 
They're the first line of defense in your natural killer cells. The T cells are the communication cells and the macrophages are the attack cells. And they all communicate when there's a, a challenge to the body. And they need energy to communicate and to do their job. And it's been shown that when you're deficient in CoQ10 and other mitochondrial factors, your immune system isn't as strong, both in the cell level and in opportunistic infections. So the easiest thing you can do to boost your immune system is to keep those mitochondria happy, avoiding toxicity and supporting them with the right type of supplementation. The immune system is very complicated. We're learning leaps and bounds with the new, this new viral challenge, but it's something that on a day-to-day -day basis, if you're supporting your immune system, you're supporting your heart health, you're supporting your, your brain health, you're supporting all of those systems of the body. Again, the body's this beautiful system. We were taught in medical school that you, the old Rene Descartes method of breaking things down to the smallest piece and simplifying it is wrong. Again, allopathic or, or regular medicine, when you're sick, do the cure and when it's a, an acute illness. But for chronic protection or to treat chronic illness, those models don't work. So you've got to stack up all of the other lifestyle factors to make a shift in that. And treating your mitochondria the right way with avoiding toxicity and supporting them with something like MitoQ, looking at the granic food, um, looking, I like to tell people to try to get eight colors a day in their, in their nutrition plan. Uh, some people benefit from protein supplementation when they train. And I think all of this kind of comes together. Uh, we talked about genetics. I think the future of medicine is actually here. We're now looking at your genetics to see what your uniqueness is to know what pathways to try to cool off that are toxic driven pathways and what pathways we need to support so that they're more optimal like your mitochondrial pathways. That technology is here and that's gonna where I think future of medicine is. What's your individual risk? How do we modulate it? Then again, using the lifestyle factors first because they're essentially free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I would say you can't out supplement poor lifestyle habits or a bad diet. Because I think a lot of people I know work with, you know, they're doing heavy training and not recovering enough and then they're taking you know, 20, 30 different supplements trying to fix that. But it's almost like a doctor putting a Band-Aid on something. You're not really solving the real problem and getting to the root cause, cause is, because there's not just one. It's like we said, it's everything working together to bring that back to balance. And we need that full support. So the Medic Q, what is in that? Is that kind of a replacement we're saying instead of a CoQ10 that a lot of people may already take, you're saying the Mito Q is a type of way to get... CoQ10 into the mitochondria to make it function at optimal level. And then it's, a type, it's a unique type of antioxidant that helps to support that system to be more efficient because of the way it's designed. CoQ10 is a very large molecule and it's not very fat soluble. So it has a hard time getting into the mitochondria to provide the support that you need. MitoQ is small, it's fat soluble, it has a little tail on it that allows it to get into those mitochondrial membrane to provide that defense that you need. You know, Debbie, I, I love you talking as a health coach because I think the future of medicine is health coaches. Yeah, me too. It's That's someone like me working with someone like you providing care. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the coaches get to know people at a really intimate level. They really do the workhorse that the doctors aren't doing. So my yeah. favorite was nurse practitioners because they tend to be more holistic and because they're kind of more of a nursing background and nurturing than the physician. And, you know, the days of writing prescriptions, I think, are over. People don't want that. They want information. They want to be empowered with information and knowledge to make better lifestyle choices. And I really think it's the health coach that delivers that on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's why I think this team model is really where it's going to happen. Yeah. And I actually, it was kind of, you know, good timing. I closed my fitness studio in October last year, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> and I started focusing on just health coaching as my main passion in January before all this happened. Now I feel like, okay, it's just what people should do, but just trying to spread the message of how important this is of what we're talking about and getting the right specific individualized program because Everyone's unique. And as you said, genetics are huge. And I've talked to Dr. Ben Lynch a few times and love his book, Dirty Genes and their strategy and program. And I've used DNA Fit with clients, but just really 
looking at like the epigenetic part of it, like why do I have more breakdown and burnout with stressors and other people can tolerate that same level? It's, you know, looking at your genetics and just the different SNPs I find interesting, but some of us need more support. Like I have to take stuff out most of the times because my life is always a little busier and, you know, I just think it's, it's that individualized approach we need to look at. So MitoQ, there's different kinds. And I know you said like ribose and L-carnitine is excellent to support the mitochondria. Is there kind of an all-in-one thing or do we take all these different things or, you know, magic mitochondria drink supplement we can make? Well, as, as you mentioned earlier, you can't out, you can't out supplement a bad nutrition program. And so I, I really feel that um, I've always been fascinated by the mitochondria again since eighth grade because I know that's what provides my cells with energy. So every decision I make is a mitochondrial decision. Is this going to help or hurt them? And if you want to help them, the easiest way to do is look at MitoQ. It's one thing that far out surpasses every other supplement to do what its job is. I mentioned ribose and carnitine. For my athletes to spin the rest of the mitochondria, the carnitine and, and ribose tend to help regenerate the ATP. It's part of that whole cascade. Yeah. And what's fascinating, you mentioned the gene testing. We now can do organic acid testing. The, the Krebs cycle, which we had to memorize in biochemistry class, yeah. I can map yours out and tell you which part of it is blocked and which part of it needs more uh, support and which part of it is working okay. So I really think the technology is now catching up to what we're looking for. In the past, we kind of guessed exactly what you needed uh, as far as trace minerals and what you might be toxic in. And I think, again, it's just starting with a good core program of lifestyle, ideally supported by a coach uh, like yourself, uh, guided by a physician, so you're doing good medical decisions. But a lot of what you need isn't in your doctor's office. It's in your coach's hands, and it's in your own hands. Um, you know, it's really about making those basic choices, then looking at what your additional needs are. Mm -hmm. This testing is available, the genetic testing you mentioned. It can be $3,000 or $99. You get what you pay for, unfortunately, but there's a happy medium of where there's really cost-effective testing. It's a couple hundred dollars, but it's not several thousand dollars. You can map out these functional medicine pathways and know exactly what you need to do and, and where you need to go. So um, interestingly, Debbie, I have several of my colleagues that like to run these huge shotgun tests as soon as people show up, and I don't do that. I like to step back and say, let's fix the basics first, mm -hmm. then go look at what we need to look at. Yeah. Because we kind of clean up the train, and then what we see is really clinically valuable and can make a big difference. Mm -hmm. But common things are common, and so many people have these same patterns until we clean up the sleep and stress and nutrition and the gut and leaky gut and the adrenals uh, for adrenal fatigue. All of these things are real. And once you get those balanced, the real problem will manifest. And again, I like to spin the energy pathways first with MitoQ. I like to look at the gut and heal the leaky gut. We always look at the adrenals because everyone has adrenal fatigue because you're, we're all in fight or flight. Probably there's more fatigue, more adrenal fatigue today than ever before. Yeah. And um, when, you, when you hit the adrenals, you drag down her sister and brother of the thyroid. For women, especially towards menopause, you start throwing the hormone symphony in chaos and all of a sudden something bad happens, yeah. like a heart event or a blood sugar event, or you put on that cortisol roll around the midsection. So a lot of the things that people deal with, we can go back. And one of my favorite questions is, so this started two years ago. What happened two and a half years ago? Yeah, oh, exactly. That's when we, my mom died, we got divorced, and we moved. Well, okay, that kind of explains it. Or I got Giardia while I was in Argentina. Yeah. So there's always a trigger there. Yeah. And what's going on today can just drive it. I know. That's so funny. I, I do that too with clients. And myself, that's kind of why I wrote my book. I went back like, okay, 2013, I didn't just hit a wall one day. That It's like, what happened previously? And it was probably the 10 years. And, you know, I opened my own business and was trying to run a fitness studio while training 20 hours a week and, you know, working too many hours a day doing everything. So it is always everyone has a story of okay, what build up to this day. And when people come and they're just having all these different uh, health complaints and concerns that it's not just 
the last few months and goes the other way. They think, you know, they'll just get fixed in a month or so. But it's like, Kate, you took 10 years to get this way. It's going to take some time to get you back where you want to be. So when you're working with clients, what labs do you like to do? I know, you know, obviously working on their nutrition and their sleep and their exercise and stress reduction first, but then adding some lab testing. What are your favorite functional labs to use with clients? Well, in my book, The Heart Solution for Women, one of my passions is that we've done heart disease wrong, especially for women. We don't think it happens. It's the third leading cause of death for everybody. And two of your three friends is going to have heart disease and have a problem from it. Women just present differently. So the first thing I like to look at is heart health, because that's the biggest, that's the biggest killer of women beyond all cancers combined. And it's preventable. And if you have it, it's reversible. So for heart, instead of the four-part cholesterol test you get at your doctor's office, your total cholesterol, the good one, the bad one, triglycerides, ours is 27 different markers. Looking at your inflammatory pathways, looking at your cytokines, looking at the fractionated cholesterol, the small sticky marbles, not just your entire bag of them. So it's really personalized medicine. What's your risk? And there's a lot of women that are on statin drugs that actually are not benefiting at all. But I'm not anti-drug. I'm appropriate drug for the right person. You know, Debbie, I listen to you talk, and I think about anyone listening that hasn't hired you should. And anyone that's listening that has a friend that needs Debbie Mm. should have them call her or should or find someone like her. Because there's (laughs) something so powerful about walking the walk to talk the talk. Exactly. You've had a life experience. You know what works. You've seen it. And it, it's, it's that level of passion. I can feel it coming through the Zoom call that uh, we're really looking for in medicine because it's not about being book smart. It's about being life smart. And many people are drawn to our type of medicine because they had a life experience for themselves or a loved one that regular medicine didn't fix. Yeah. And integrative, functional, holistic medicine with coaching and the entire nutrition model worked. So it's, it's really exciting to share with someone who's been down that path and is sharing it with others. That's really where I think all this is coming from right now. Well, I think it's people figuring out, you know, the struggle is real and that you're not alone and that you can get your body and your health back and feel yourself and your vibrant self again, that you don't have to settle. And I think so many people blame the aging process or this is how it is. And they just think this is my new normal. I'm hitting 50. And my challenge is to people you have a choice and let's try to, you know, get you back to your ideal self and right. build you up. But a lot of times, you know, they just go to doctors and what are they typical doctors just looking for a band aid and give them some prescription drug and not really work on all this stuff. And I think even going back to COVID immune system, you know, people just aren't given that right information in the media or from their own doctor. So it's, it's our kind of mission, I think, as health practitioners and functional medicine and specialists as yourself to really get this message out. And that's kind of what drives me because they're not getting that information from regular media. Well, it's, it, it is. And you know, women are really driving health. That's what's so fun for me to help women to find and sort out through this information. You know, I was told recently that the average visit with your doctor lasts seven minutes. And now with these telehealth visits, even shorter. But it only takes 11 seconds for you to start talking before the doctor will interrupt you. So many people don't get their story told. And if you don't hear the story, you can't make a decision. So I let my clients talk at the very beginning of the visit. Tell me your story. And I sit back and listen. And it's about five minutes into the story, well, I'll hear what is the problem. Uh And they'll say, I've been to 15 doctors. No one can figure me out. Because the medicine, we're all in these little silos. I say we have too many itises and too many ologists. So we have dermatitis, gastritis, esophagitis, arthritis, um, and we have too many ologists, gastroenterologists, dermatologists, neurologists, psychologists, and they're all good and they all help, but they only want to look at what they want to look at and they can't really cross over and no one's tying them all together. And that's what I feel like my role is. And I would encourage every coach that's listening, that's really what your role is, is is be that conduit and that glue that helps tie all these people together for them. But there's very few doctors that can sit and pull all of that together. And that's a a real skill that we have in functional medicine, that many of us are primary care trained, 
as physicians, but we've learned all of these other models so that when you go to the acupuncturist, I train in acupuncture, I know what the gallbladder meridian is, and I know why they're putting the needles in those crazy places. Uh, or when you're dying, doing Ayurvedics, I know which is the good ones and the bad ones with your medication. Yeah. So it's really this team approach to it. And I, I think that's where we're going to see is more people that have been down this experience that want to provide help to other people. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really neat to see our army growing because there's so many people. People are getting sicker. Mm -hmm. And the so events of 2020 is just going to make people sicker and have nothing to do with a viral infection. It's the stress. Mm -hmm. And and the other issues that are going. It's just a very difficult time for people. And they're avoiding doctor's appointments, they're avoiding some of the self-care. As you started our conversation, Debbie, you're so right. This is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to take the time to learn these things, apply them to yourself and your family, and get the entire tribe healthier. Then things like COVID don't really matter, because if you're very healthy and not inflamed, you can get the virus, you might even, may not get sick at all, versus someone who's dealing with obesity and high blood sugar and chronic inflammation, the virus is going to be very difficult for them. Yeah. So you can control your outcome. And that's what's very powerful about what's happening in 2020 is you have the power to control what happens to you. Mm -hmm. I said that since March, you know, when this all started, it's like, all right, you're stuck at home. You're working at home. What are you going to do to get your body healthier? So the day you're exposed to coronavirus and you're going out in public, are you able to fight it? It's your choice. And if you can't fight it, is it your fault? You know, you didn't do what you could have done and be responsible for your health, or is it, you know, out of your control? I don't know. But I just think like, well, you know, it's your choice. Do you want to build up all your weapons and have your team ready to go? And it's like building up for the Super Bowl. Are you working on all your players and getting them in strength training, preseason training, and being ready to go when you're out in public? <laughs> So yeah, anyways, that's a, great, that's a great point. You don't have to do it all. Just start with one little piece. And the beauty is it's a synergy. One plus one doesn't equal two. One plus one equals 10. So just do a little bit now. And even if it's a five minute walk with your dog, just do that today. Yeah. Next week, try 10 minutes. The week after, try 15 minutes. Yeah. And be happy and make a little smiley face and put it on your fridge. Call your sister and tell her that you did it. Um, and invite her and her dog on the next walk. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, again, it's this team sport concept. Yeah, love it. So I wanted to finish up with, uh, you know, you talk about thyroid and women's health, and that's a big thing. We're actually, I'm talking to Dr. Debbie Rice with Dr. The Dutch Test, and we did a podcast a few weeks ago, and we're going to just focus on hormones and thyroid, but I think it's a really important subject with for women, female athletes, endurance athletes, HPA axis dysfunction, and low thyroid, because every time I work with people, they always have signs and symptoms of low thyroid because the HPA axis is off. The HPT axis is going to be off too because everything correlates and overlaps, right? So talk about your experience and knowledge and maybe we could throw in how MitoQ might help because I know they have different types of MitoQ for different parts of the body and how we can really optimize our fat loss, performance, longevity. That's such a great way to think about health, especially women's health because uh, women are a little more complicated because we have the hormones that change uh, monthly as you're young, kind of get confused midlife and then go into the, the dormant stage with menopause. So um, you've got to look at the hormones, the thyroid and adrenal, I think are sister glands. They grew up together embryologically, moved to separate spots. They have a crosstalk we don't even understand yet. Yeah. The Dutch test I love, it's the best adrenal evaluation available. It's inexpensive. It's a simple at-home urine collection. There's no blood draw. So it's a really great way to get a hormone snapshot and a great way to get an adrenal snapshot because it does the entire pattern over several different samples. So they've done a great job with that. The adrenal, I think, is so misunderstood. There's a disease called Addison's disease, which is an autoimmune failure of the adrenal gland. That's what John F. Kennedy had. That's not what we're talking about. It's this when you're in fight or flight all the time, your body's a caveman or a cavewoman. And he or she is only cares about running from the saber to the tiger. Because if you can't run, you're not going to reproduce. Mm -hmm. So you've got to have the adrenals protected because if they're not, it'll drag everything else down with it. At the end of the day, it comes down to your cellular energy. Are you feeding those mitochondria the things they need 
to be the most efficient they can be. Start with good nutrition, add MitoQ, find a way to get optimal sleep. You know, and if I may, just as a tangent, talk about sleep. Yeah. You know, it's not just about going to bed, it's how you sleep and what your mm -hmm. pattern is. Number one, develop a routine. Go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time. Your body likes routines. Your bedroom is for sleep and sex only. You don't eat in the bedroom, you don't read in the bedroom, you don't watch TV or work on your computer, or iPhone or iPad. That's got to be a sacred place. And then develop this kind of down gauging ritual every evening, about a half hour before you go to bed at that scheduled time. Have a set routine you do to wind the body down. Stop electronics, turn them off, do a lavender um, essential oil bath or a warm cloth to the face, do some deep breathing, do something to wind the body down because your body likes these routines. It gets conditioned. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. We're starting our routine because I know at 1030, I'm in that bedroom where only two things happen and I'm going to be able to sleep and then I get up with the sun or I get up at seven, have these set routines. Your body just does so well. And that may be besides proper nutrition and the right supplement, the three things you could do to boost your immune system, to prevent things like COVID, but also help your brain health, your heart health, your hormone health, your adrenal health. It all ties together. That's the beauty. A little bit here goes a long way there. Yeah, I call it the holistic method. You have to work on the whole you to really improve your health and longevity. But sleep, I know it's been kind of a blessing being at home the last few months because I've been a personal trainer for years. And so I'd go to the gym at five something in the morning, teach classes until last year, and then recently just training clients. And I can actually get up when I want to. <laughs> you know, we... I work out, we do yoga and walk or run or bike outside in the morning and then you walk at lunchtime and evening time, go for a run or bike or another walk and get outside. And it's a nice treat. You know, one of the advantages of being at home last few months is to create this new routine that you can wake up when the sun rises and get outside and get that, that little blue light wake up call to help set your circadian rhythm, I think is so essential. And I've been Side note, telling my clients, like, if you're working at home, I want you to go walk outside, even if it's out the front door, come back in before you go to your office, because right. you're working at home. And if you just go from your bed to your kitchen, to your other room or your temporary offices, it's just not good for your sleep or mental health. <laughs> but just, you know, they talk about the, the COVID-19 as like the freshman 15 that people are putting 19 pounds on during all this. Yeah. I'm in the best shape of my life. My clients are all fitter than they've ever been because they've been taught this method. They're mm -hmm. enduring the exact same type of thing you mentioned. And many people are healthier today than they were in March because they've taken this heart and they've taken messages like yours to their lifestyle, to their partners. And again, it's, it's the couples that are doing well, the families that are doing well, that someone decided to do it and drag someone else with them. Yeah. And it then becomes exponential. They're all working together. It's, it's been really exciting to hear these stories to my clients. We've been randomly calling people just to check in with them, share a little love with them, let them know we're thinking of them and that we're here to support them. And I'm hearing these stories over and over of how I, I'm at my goal weight. Finally, I, I'm in the best shape of my life. My wife and I are walking five miles every day. Yeah. It's such a treat to hear that because mm -hmm. they've, they've taken messages like yours and implemented them on a day-to-day -day basis. And they're walking the walk and That's talking great. the talk. Yeah, you're in a healthy, healthy town. So the MitoQ, I'll put the links in the show notes for your website and your programs as well. MitoQ, but there's the different ones, the MitoQ. Are you familiar with the, you know, which ones people should, we should have them look for? There's heart, curcumin, liver, joint, blood sugar, eye, brain, and skin support. Like so all of, them, <laughs> all of them start with the unique world first MitoQ antioxidant core with again, that smaller molecule with a fat soluble base, so it gets into the mitochondria up to a thousand times more efficient. But what MitoQ has done is added that core superpower with other things that have been clinically proven to benefit for separate categories, like for your blood sugar, the chromium, like curcumin from additional uh, brain health, like the supporters for the antioxidants for the skin. So it's, it's, it's always smart to start with the core MitoQ as your base, mm -hmm. then look at the secondary formulas for what you need. Not everybody needs blood sugar support. Not everybody needs additional skin cofactors. Um, most people benefit from curcumin um, 
and looking at these other supplements that are added to this core, but it's really the powerhouse core molecule of MadoQ that drives everything else off. Mm -hmm. And it's just a little bit of frosting on the cake when you add these other nutrients for these specific health categories. And they'll help get into the cell. So if you're like, I'm looking at the liver one as choline and selenium and milk thistle. And so it sounds like that would be good for the selenium is good for thyroid health, right? And the choline. The selenium is, is chronically depleted in people. If you take too much, it can be a problem, particularly for thyroid patients. So you, but in, in the doses that are there, it's safe for everybody. Milk thistle is a, a classic naturopathic herbal. That's fantastic. Silmarin is its active component. But milk thistle for anyone with fatty liver, and a lot of people with blood sugar problems also have liver problems. It's this fatty liver. It's not from alcohol. It's from fat being deposited. No one likes fat on the outside, Debbie. But as a doctor who cares about you, it's the fat on the inside that I'm most worried about, particularly fat being laid on the liver. And there's an epidemic of this fatty liver. And the, CoQ, the MitoQ with the milk thistle is a one plus one equals 10 to help the liver be supported to reduce that burden that the liver has to do. Our livers are super challenged. Yeah. So if there's one pathway you really want to look at, it's your detox pathway of the liver. That's a great I, way to do it. For I was just going to say that should be another episode just about liver health because I don't think enough people talk about the importance of liver health for even with the immune system because if your liver isn't working detox pathways phase one and phase two, I don't think a lot many people even are aware of that and how we have to have our natural health, how it's called the housekeeping services come visit you while you're sleeping and you know take care of cleaning out the garbage. And we need that kind of phase three to eliminate, you know, through your feces, kidneys, sweat, breath. And I that's the importance of getting those out. So even if your immune system's strong, you have to have your liver strong and your detox pathways supported so they are able to get the garbage out. And that's with like cell autophagy and fasting and all that together. Well, you're so right. My friend Joe Pizzorno, who started Bastyr, huh. has written a book on toxicity and it's worse than I thought it was. Really? When I hear him lecture and see really how toxic um, our environment is and how toxic people are. When mm -hmm. they go looking, they go finding. And I think you hit on a great point. I don't think we put enough time into looking at liver detox. And what do we know about the liver? It demands a huge amount of energy, second to the, only the brain and heart and energy demands. And if you don't have that cellular, cellular energy from something like MitoQ, your liver can't do its job no matter what herbals you take or how clean you're trying to eat. You've got to have the energy for the cells to work at that cell level. Yeah. So I would think, you know, well, mitoq.com is where people can go. You can learn more about the mitochondria. They have great infographics and videos too on the role they, they play. But uh, what's your role with mitoq? You just, how do you get connected with them? Well, as I said, I, I've always been in love with mitochondria and this is a world's first product. I'm not a huge advocate of multi-supplementation. I look for the one or two things that are going to move the needle and so what I do, I'm, I'm kind of a mad scientist, Debbie, where I try everything myself first. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't pass my test, I'm not on board with it. Mm -hmm. So I used it and felt better. And I'm someone who does everything right. And for a supplement to actually move the needle for me is impressive. Then when I dug into it and looked at the science, there's over 400 peer-reviewed articles using MitoQ that the company did not sponsor. Mm -hmm. So as a scientist, the science makes sense. As a clinician, it's got the validity. And personally, I know that it works. So I've seen amazing things in my clinic using it. And so I'm a medical advisor for the company. Um, I'll always be someone who's passionate about mitochondria. But this product has a unique niche that uh, nothing else really comes close. And so again, if there's one thing you're going to do, it's eat right, sleep right, and take MitoQ. <laughs> Those yeah. are the three easy things that get people started regardless of what core issues you have, or if you just want to be that extra optimal level of protection. Good. Well, where can we send people to find more about your programs and services and blogs? I'm sure you have lots of information. Well, thank you, Debbie. We're menoclinic.com, M-E-N-O-C-L-I-N-I-C, menoclinic.com. There's some quizzes and some programs. We try to give a lot of what we know away for free. And I think that's what you do as well. We're both providing information to empower people with knowledge to help them make good behavioral lifestyle changes. And that's really what my passion life is, is how can I help you be the best you can be? Yeah. 
perfect. Just what I love to do too. I know we're doing this to help you. We're not making money. <laughs> just doing this for free because I like doing it. And it's just a fun way to reach this, our world and send this information out there and just take that self-empowerment to wellness approach. So I appreciate your time today and I'll let you get back to your busy day. And we, I look forward to connecting more in the future. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks for listening to the Low Carb Athlete Podcast. If you have any questions, feedback, or topic suggestions, let us know on Facebook or at DebbiePotts.net. You can help us to continue to grow by leaving a review on iTunes. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.